Well, for more, let's cross to Ethiopia's capital. Gedeon Timoteos is uh, Minister of Justice of Ethiopia. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. My pleasure. Tell us, tell us what the, the, the Prime Minister is doing, where he is, what his role is. Uh, the Prime Minister is the Commander-in-Chief of the, Ar the Armed Forces, in addition to being the head of government. So he's discharging his constitutional uh, responsibility and duty by leading the Armed Forces in the counter-offensive against uh, the terrorist TPLF. Where is he exactly today? Uh, obviously, uh, you can't expect me to pinpoint the exact location of the Prime Minister. As we have stated earlier, he's in the front lines. He's um, providing leadership and guidance to the armed forces. There, could, there has been unease among some saying why they haven't heard from the Prime Minister. Uh, the Prime Minister has issued a statement uh, yeah, the day before yesterday. Uh, I think you know, while being on the front line, he's focused on his duties, on the task ahead of him. Uh, so uh, that's what he's doing. What can you tell us uh, uh, about the latest fighting, where it is and uh, how it's going? Uh, I can tell you that, uh, you know, since the TPLF has escalated and expanded the conflict, affecting millions of civilians, uh, displacing uh, close to 2 million in Afar and uh, Amara regional state, the government has been left with no option but to launch a counteroffensive in several fronts. Uh, so this is a very dynamic situation. Uh, and since I'm not uh, a military, I don't have expertise in this area, I would refrain from uh, providing further details. We, we saw where you are in the capital, uh, recruitment drive. We just saw images from that in, in the report we, we, we showed that's uh, uh, been underway. Uh, can you tell us about that? Uh, the situation in Addis is very, uh, very calm. People are going out, going on with their daily business, uh, with their daily routine. Obviously, uh, the population is mobilized in support of um, the national um, uh, armed force uh, supporting our troops. So they are providing all sorts of uh, uh, materials and moral support uh, for the troops. Uh, the TPLF, as has been uh, noted in your earlier report, has been uh, in power previously. It is an unpopular force. It's um, using terrorist means right now to brutalize and terrorize civilian population in other parts of the country. So uh, the residents of this city are supporting the government, and um, that's what's going on on the ground. Uh, the state of emergency now in effect, uh, as, a, uh, as it is under effect, those that have been arrested, including high-profile people in the capital, are they going to face charges? Uh, what, what is their status today? Uh, the state of emergency provides for uh, preventive detention measures to provide for uh, the security of uh, not only the city, but the entire state. Uh, so their uh, their matter would be reviewed um, under the procedure set in the state of emergency proclamation. So they can be held uh, for indefinitely? Uh, not indefinitely. The state of emergency has been declared for a specified period of time. Uh, so uh, if their uh, case is not referred to uh, the courts, then they would be released. And that includes local UN staff? Uh, it, regardless of uh, their employment and affiliation, uh, everyone will be treated equally before the law. Uh, Gideon Timiteos, uh, we had a statement on Tuesday by the U.S. envoy, Jeffrey Feltman. Um, he was uh, uh, alarmed by military developments, uh, but he also talked about, na quote, nascent progress in mediation. Is there mediation going on? Uh, the Ethiopian government, the federal government, has expressed its desire to resolve the situation uh, peacefully way back uh, before this issue became an international news item. Uh, before the conflict broke out, there have been several efforts by civil society leaders, religious leaders, to bring 
uh, the TPLF and the federal government uh, to talks. The TPLF rejected all these efforts to provide uh, a peaceful resolution of uh, the tensions. Now that uh, the conflict has escalated, now that the TPLF has, has expanded the conflict to the Afar and Amara regional state, uh, the Ethiopian people and government are exercising their right uh, to defend themselves, to defend their democratic and constitutional order. Does that mean that the government is open or not open right now to mediation? Uh, for us to be open for uh, mediation, the course of action that the TPLF has embarked upon has to be reversed. The international community has to condemn this kind of behavior, these terrorist tactics, the attack on civilians, and the aggression in the Amara and Afar regional states. If there is a change in this course of action, if the TPLF renounces violence, uh, then we, are, uh, we could explore all options. So for now, not yet, is what, what I'm hearing from, from, from what you're saying. Uh, let me ask you, who would be best placed to mediate between uh, uh, the two warring sides? Uh, as we have noted earlier, the Ethiopian government is engaging in a constructive manner with the high representative of the uh, African Union, His Excellency President Tolisengon of Asanjo. Uh, so uh, that engagement will continue. One final question for you. Uh, the uh, departure we saw in that report of uh, French nationals, not just the French, uh, uh, we're, we're having lots of Western citizens right now leaving uh, Ethiopia, fearing uh, a, a, an assault on the capital. What's your reaction when you see those images? Uh, I mean, there has been a great deal of alarmist and exaggerated, frankly, hysterical reporting from uh, some foreign uh, media outlets. Uh, uh, we don't think that's justified and warranted. As I have noted earlier, people are going on with their daily businesses. Uh, shops, banks, schools, offices are all open. Uh, so uh, we're, now we think that it's uh, a bit exaggerated and unjustified. I want to thank you so much, Gideon Timoteos, Minister of Justice of Ethiopia, for speaking with us on France 24.